Conversations, Conversations with, with S.D. SD Booker. Booker. I'm glad to be on your show. I'm excited to, to discuss some of these things. Right. Um, I'm excited as well. I'm uh, gracious and uh, humble that you took the time out of your day. I know you're busy to uh, speak with me and speak to the people. Now, just to give the people some background on how we met, uh, actually it was on my brother Soul Immortals channel. And uh, to you who have not heard of Soul Immortal, go check out that brother's channel. Very, very powerful brother. He's helped me uh, a lot in uh, tremendous ways. So yeah, definitely check out his channel. I can't remember what the topic was, but Soul had invited me onto his channel uh, for a discussion. And you were in the chat room. Uh, he elected you or promoted you uh, uh, to the, the main stage to uh, speak. And, you know, I was just taken aback, uh, as many were taken aback on your delivery, your stories, and uh, the impact it had on people just from uh, that small amount of time. Once I got off the call, you know, my wife was listening to the call. Uh, she was on the live listening. And she was impacted by you and what you had to say. And so you and I just started building a rapport from there. Uh, and, and here we are today. So I thank you. Yes, you're very welcome. I, I appreciate being on. I'm, I'm happy to share. I know I've had some unique experiences being in a culture within a culture, basically. Yeah. Right. I want to get into that. Um, can you give us a history of your background, your you know, where, where you come from and how you got to this point. Yeah, basically, I was born and grew up uh, Mennonite. And I know there's different types of Mennonites, but the one I was in was very, very conservative. Um, we really didn't do things outside of our group or very little. Um, it was a it was a you know, there were good things and there were things that weren't the greatest as far as um, you know, community was, was important. And so you could trust, you, you just trusted everyone in the community. You knew that if somebody said they would do something, they would, um, you know, pretty, pretty much pretty honest people across the board. If, you know, somebody had a, a fire or something happened with their buildings, they'd show up and, and they'd all pitch together and we'd rebuild it. And, uh, you know, things like that. If, if, men had a work day somewhere all the women would pull together bring all the you know meal in and all that kind of stuff we did a lot of stuff like that together that was that was very positive um the downsides to a, a culture like that is that you're very very controlled you can't think outside the box which is why i never really fit in <laughs> right. because i i didn't uh just accept everything that was told me i always ask why and that was a no-no, don't ask why. Well, right. it's just the way it is, I was told. But so, you know, it, it was interesting because I got into, um, from, from the time I was very young, I was interested in, in healing health. You know, why were so many people getting sick and dying at such a young age? I didn't think that was the way it should be. So I started on my own because it was literally forbidden in that group. You weren't supposed to do alternative healing. You weren't supposed to look into herbs and that stuff at that time. It was, it was no, no. So I had to go outside of that realm. I had to secretly do it to learn what I needed to learn because I felt in myself, it was very important to learn. So it's just, you know, long story short, it, I just didn't really fit in, but there, there's, there's some very good things, beings that you're not programmed from the outside world, but you're definitely programmed inside. If that makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. Um, so, so, so in the home setting, and not all the homes were that way, but my home setting was very, very stable. Very good home setting. My mom and dad were married when they were 19 years old. Uh, they've been married 51 years. They're still best friends. Never, ever did I see them fight, argue, raise their voice. They were, they were just best friends. Wow. Um, so, you know, that's, that's probably more uncommon than what my parents, but I was fortunate enough to be in that type of a home. So um, my parents are both alive today and it's just, you know, it was, that was a, a very secure home setting. Right. So, you know, I really appreciate that part. Right. Now, as far as the Mennonite, is that a, I would say a subordinate or a leg of the Amish sector? 
No, they're no. separate. So, so what happened is there was a, a man that broke off of the Roman Catholic Church by the name of Menno Simons. Okay. And Menno Simons is basically where the name Mennonite came from. He, he, it was a Protestant group from the Catholic Church. Um, it was it totally kind of a totally different branch than Amish. They might they might have some similar things, but there's a lot of not similarities with the way they do things. So I don't know. It's just a little bit of a different a different type of a structure. Yeah, when it comes to uh, religion as a whole, um, I'm kind of uh, offset about it because I think religion causes more conflict and more confusion than clarity. I agree. Uh, I mean, I agree. There's been a lot of wars throughout history in the name of religion, uh, a lot of killings, murders uh, in the name of religion. Uh, and I don't think it's, for, as a whole, I don't think it's here what it was meant to be. I think religion was meant to uh, cause separation, but to separate the righteous from the unrighteous. But I think it's going deeper than that. Uh, we're separating on shallow things, uh, you know, just personal preference, uh, skin color, gender, uh, things like that. It has nothing to do with righteous or unrighteous. Uh, it has, you know, everything to do with something totally different than that. So are you against religion? Uh, I know you, um, I guess, defected from that, uh, that sector, but are you against religion as a whole? Well, that's interesting. There's a saying, my favorite saying is religion that religion is for those who are afraid of going to hell. Spirituality is for those who have already been there. All right. I, I Let agree that, with that sink in a minute. Yeah. I've I already been that. there. I mean, I could I could go through things in my life, and it's just like even look at the word. Our words play so much. Religion. Uh, just a minute. What did that say? Re legions. What are the legions? Okay. Uh oh. I don't know. <laughs> you know, the right. words sometimes can have hidden meanings, and so yes. you know, spirituality is where we should be. Now, I can say, you know, there might maybe people of very low vibration where at some point in time religion is going to bring them up, and I believe it's all about. It's not like I'm against this or against that, or we need to stop that kind of judgmental. We have to see who, where people are and what, because it's like this. Um, for example, some of the drugs, the reason people take them is because literally their vibration is so low that it will raise their vibration to take a certain drug. Now, somebody that's on a high vibration, if they take that drug, it literally feels like you've gone to hell. Wow. Literally. Yeah. That because of the vibration it's all about everything is energetic it's all about our vibration so so religion will have its place with people that are on a lot lower vibration than that anything we can do to bring us a little step higher a little step higher in our path is is good for us but that right. doesn't mean it's good for somebody over here that's above that right and i, I totally feel like agree. what people do is is they get to this point and they stay right here they plateau and they're not going to go any higher because they're letting religion keep them there. Religion should be used as a springboard to get you higher to spirituality. That's just my my perception. I agree. I agree. I've always said that, you know, earth is just a school uh, for learning and teaching and there's classes. And so I think what we get caught up in the religion folk judging the spirituality folk and the spirituality folk judging the religion folk when neither one is right or wrong is just where they are right now in their life. Uh, and so, um, and, and, you know, the, the people who believe in spirituality don't have elevated, graduated spirituality, they got to be careful too, not to judge, like you said, or you may have to retake that class, you know, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah I agree. Yeah, yeah, so, you know, Absolutely. that's something to be learned in that. 